Friday and I kind of want to vlog like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. First, you know, we're going to not look like this, okay? I just got out of the shower. I went to the gym earlier today, so I am literally so freaking tired. So I think we need to make another coffee. Can I also just say that getting an electric kettle was literally the best thing of my entire life. It's just so freaking convenient. I swear this kettle is so loud. That's the only downside. But of course, I have my little bar area. I did show this actually in my Halloween decoration video last year where I was kind of redoing everything but this is kind of how we keep it I kind of staged it with like a cute little TV just to give it again more bar vibes that's kind of how our kitchen is and everything is thrifted for anyone that's wondering except this we did get from Ikea in like that broken used section but yeah I showed this to you guys in my last video I have like my entire tea stash in there and then in here I keep like my matcha and my instant coffee so this is the, is this gonna focus? This is the instant coffee that I drink. I got this off of Thrive Market. In the morning, I actually put two packets because I feel like one packet is actually not enough caffeine for me in the morning, which I feel like is really bad, but that's just, I don't know if you guys have seen this and we're thinking of trying it, but for now, I'm only gonna have one because obviously I had two this morning. Just to feel more fancy, I wanna put it in one of my teacups. Um, I have way more, but they need to be washed. So let's see, which one do we wanna do? I feel like I wanna be like in Paris right now. Like, ooh, this one. Cheers and just, oh my God, it's really hot. Wait, we have to put our pinky up. We're just gonna get pretty much ready. Um, I don't really want to give you guys like the full rundown of my makeup just because I literally have a video on it already like completely dedicated to it. This is probably like my most asked question, not even like my most asked question, but like the only question that people only ever ask me. Like nobody ever asked me anything, okay? I'm not like this big influencer, but if I do have one question, it's always which eyelashes I'm wearing. They look like this and you're probably looking at them thinking, um, wow, you wear two different lashes. No, these are exactly the freaking same. So this one is Pro Beauty Essentials and it's in the style Glam Wispies versus this one it says Cosmania, but it still says lashes for days. It's still the style Glam Wispies and it's, yeah, still literally exactly the same. There is one website actually where they do sell them and it just looks like a weird beauty online store it just looks kind of sketchy so I don't really want to put like my card number or anything on there so um, I can literally only find them at TJ Maxx or Marshall's and they are six dollars I have been wearing these for years I am freaking obsessed with them I just cut off like a little bit at the end and these are the kind of lashes that actually look better as time goes on and then the other lash that I wear that I actually like way more is this it's the same thing it says cosmania lashes for days it's at tj maxx for six dollars but this is in the style high drama now it looks like this these lashes aren't the same but this is what it looks like now ever since at, um tj maxx and all of those stores opened back up i have not been able to find them i can find these so i definitely stocked up on these because i'm scared it's gonna run out but i'm an idiot and i never stocked up on this style i'm just praying that one one day TJ Maxx is gonna have them again but yeah we're just gonna um not look like this I'm gonna completely transform my face because I look like really puffy still I feel like I need to drink water and yeah next time you see me I'm not gonna look like a dirty ass rat I wanted to show you guys this because I just think it's not funny but I just think it's cute so um James and I got in a fight like not that long ago and I was like saying um how he never gives me flowers because I obviously yeah, I'm just like not someone that really likes flowers and he just got this from the backyard when I came home from the gym and put it in a freaking champagne glass and I just thought it was really cute because it just really refreshes the room okay now we're out of focus but so cute all of the cats are just passed out actually I have no idea where Stevie is but I want to show you guys um another plant I killed my plant I don't know how this happened it was thriving for like months and months and just the past couple weeks it died i literally don't know what i did <laughs> now i'm here with my dead plant so maybe i'll go to lowe's too and maybe replace it because i don't know if it's revivable i'm not really into like plants okay wait that's a lie i am i'm but i'm not good at it i'm like just now starting to get into it so um 
yeah that plant is dying but yeah i think we're just gonna go to a couple of yard sales and see what they're all about because if you guys don't know i'm just obsessed obsessed with yard sales and i literally never talk about them ever in like my thrift videos just because i'm not going to make a whole video dedicated to like me yard sailing because first off i'm not going to show the inside of like houses and things that's just like really weird so i don't really know how this is going to plan out maybe i'll just like show you like cool pieces because last week i went to a yard sale and there was the coolest lounge chair it was like very royal -esque and it was like 200 dollars though obviously i didn't get it but um yeah that would have been really cool to share with you guys so let's go well, we have arrived at our first one and look at these shoes that i want to show you guys like how y2k are these right here and i'm pretty sure they're literally my size I know they have like a wedge, but I love shoes like this. At that little clip that you guys just saw, I found these door handles. They were 50 cents each. Are you kidding me? I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to like put it on the door, but this was just such a cool find. And for 50 cents, like I'm gonna make this work on my doors. Like how pretty is this if I put this on like my beauty room? Guys, there is this dog at the yard sale look at how precious also i found these steve madden shoes and it's literally almost as big as the dog are you joking me look at how precious this puppy not puppy this dog oh, yeah. is back from yard sailing and it was pretty quick like i think we literally we only went to two i figured i would give you guys like a quick little haul i didn't get that many things but you guys saw the cute little doorknobs i feel like this i literally don't know how i'm gonna make this work but i feel like it's gonna go perfectly in this room like it's gonna match the vibe of it and then this i actually didn't get at the yard sale but i wanted to show you guys anyway i actually thrifted this yesterday for six dollars and it is this michael angelo book like are you joking me it is just like the perfect coffee table book but also it's like i'm really into art like this like oh my god stop it right now i literally like flipped to this page i'm not even kidding it was this one right here i kid you not you guys saw that right please take a look at what i have up on my wall i mean you guys saw these steve madden shoes i am so glad that they fit me it's a little bit like extra because obviously my hair but i'll figure out a way to make it cute and then i got this ring right here it is blue i don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up and it is like not a good ring like as you can see it's like tarnishing but i don't wear rings that often but like i want to be able to like build a ring collection that looks like this like very gaudy not gaudy but like very like sophie floyd and like um sammy jaff code i don't know how to say her name but like i love their ring collection and i would love to have something like that i also got this yeah i needed one more and i didn't want to paint it and um i literally couldn't find one that has four at lowe's and they had this at the yard sale and i was like you know what i will take it when i find tommy hilfiger it's rare if I find denim. Like when I do, it has this, but never does it have that. Like, are you joking me? And yeah, it's just a classic denim skirt. How adorable. And then like when I was in the car, I was looking at the tag and I didn't even realize it, but it is John Galt, which is like Brandy Melville. And then the last thing are these literally brand new white denim mini skirt like it still has the tag on it so i obviously don't have like the best lighting in my kitchen but i don't really want to cook so i want to show you guys this thing that i do when again i literally don't want to cook like i have zero patience and i just want to eat right now but i also don't want to snack because again i don't want to take more insulin than i need to so this is what i always do i have this like broccoli slot just normal spinach of course 
course, the garlic aioli veganaise. If you guys watched my last haul, I am obsessed with this stuff. I have some leftover beans from yesterday. So I talked about these in my last video. They don't have the cleanest ingredients, but again, with my whole type one diabetes, I just love burritos so much. And like the siesta tortillas are just way too expensive. And I love eating them like a lot. So this is really good because the carbs are 19, but the fiber is 13. So it is super good for when I want to make like a quick burrito. Again, not the best ingredients at all, but for like a quick snack, because I'm starving, I would rather eat one of these than a freaking tortilla that actually has way more than this. And I literally taste no difference than this from a regular. I went ahead and just dumped literally the rest of this into a pan, and I'm gonna do a little bit of soy sauce mixed with this veganaise, and then put like a little bit of lemon. I've thrown it all in there and I don't really let it cook as much because I kind of like the crunchiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach. That looks like a lot, but it definitely like goes way more down. And if you're wondering why I'm using this and not a spatula, it's because I really heavily need to do the dishes right now. So I am just like running out of options and using anything I can, which is also why I'm using such a freaking big pan while I'm like not even cooking anything. I added the beans and quickly just heating the little tortilla up. I have my burrito. I just chopped up some green onion really freaking poorly and I'm literally going to use all of this and I do have like some left over my favorite hot sauce the green one is better the garlic but I said it in my last video it uh, was sold out when I went so I just picked up this I have to add flax seeds and chia seeds to literally everything because why not this time we're just gonna do flax this is what happens when you don't have a dishwasher and you don't do dishes for two days I am going to actually have you melt down um, what do people do where it's like tap to clean, but I'm gonna do like blink to clean. So like when I count down to three, you guys are gonna blink and this is gonna be all clean. Okay, ready? One, two, <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's redo this. One, two, three. Is there really nothing better than like a clean kitchen? And I feel like my kitchen always just looks so much more cluttered because literally this is all the counter space I have. I have no other counter space. So to see it all clean and we have my little neon sign just feels so good. Also, let's ignore this blue sponge. As you guys know, I had to have like a little a backup situation going on. So I don't have like my aesthetically pleasing ones that I shared in my last video, which are my Grove coconut ones. Like these are just so much prettier, but obviously I'm not just going to throw the blue sponge away. Like it's perfectly good. I don't even know why I just told you that. That is so irrelevant. I just really want someone to feel my pain right now of why does he do this? Like, are you, like, is it really this hard? Honestly, like, wow, I'm done. I had one. Let's just open this and, oh, that's crazy. I had no idea that it was that easy to throw things away. Now I'm just sitting with my little Jean. She's just napping away, but I figured we would make some dinner and yeah, pretty much just chill for the rest of the night. And I think I'm gonna make salmon. I'm not a chef, okay? As we probably realized from like my last vlog, I'm just very simple with what I eat. Like I don't make this whole gourmet meal because I do cook like literally pretty much for every single meal so i don't want to overcomplicate things i feel like if i overcomplicate and want to make like a brand new meal every single time then i'm not going to cook as much so i always like to have like my staples so i'm going to make one of the things that i always make for dinner which is going to be literally salmon i have the salmon all prepped and i know this literally looks like those memes where it's like Oh, people just eat their chicken like really plain and just like their basic ass white rice. I swear this is really well seasoned. It just doesn't look like it. So I just put like pretty much drenched this, not drenched it, but put a good amount of avocado oil. And then I put like a crap ton of lemon and garlic salt. And that's pretty much all I do. Like when I want to stick to very basics, of course, 
after this comes out I could do like some sauces over it but I typically I don't know I just like to start like fresh with a nice base and this is really flavorful and I'm gonna cook like veggies with it and things like that so I'm already gonna have a lot of flavor with that because what I'm gonna do is actually make this into a salad so the salad is gonna have a lot of flavor from that so just keep that in mind just in case you guys are looking at this like Viola are you kidding me did you even season this yes Yes, I did. because I was looking at my teeth like yesterday and I was like wow they're getting like a little bit too yellow for my liking so I'm just gonna use these burst coconut whitening strips to be honest I'm not really sure if these work like super well I have used how many have I used four you're, like one pack has seven and you're supposed to use like it fully like for a full week I'm pretty sure don't quote me on it but I think and after like the fourth day, um, like one of my teeth, actually just one section uh, wasn't whitening. I don't know what that's called. I know it's really common when you whiten your teeth, so you want to be careful. So I just like stopped. And I know coconut is like a really good natural whitener. At least that's what I was told because I actually have like the burst toothbrush. I went like hardcore crazy. Like I'm not even joking. You guys think I'm being dramatic. But for probably almost three hours i was online and uh watched three hours worth of like youtube videos of like what toothbrush was the best and like pretty much everyone just said the burst and then i was like talking to my friend my best friend ryan on the phone and they were like oh my god and like i totally forgot but her mom like works with the whole dentist and um she was like you have to get the burst one and i was like oh like that's the one I was thinking of. So obviously I got it and then um, I was like, let me pick these up as well because she always tells me to wipe my teeth with coconut. So I figured these will do. It has a cute little happy face and it's one for upper and one for lower. Now obviously you want to floss before you whiten your teeth and also don't brush your teeth before you apply it because like the toothpaste will like block or something. So you just want to make sure that they're really dry. <laughs> And while I wait for my whitening strips, I'm going to go ahead and steam my face. I feel like, okay, I have a really bad lisp right now. But yeah, this is the one that I have talked about like numerous times on my channel. This is the same girl that I got like the fridge from, my skincare fridge and all of that. I believe though she's shutting her website down for like two weeks because she is moving like across states and i think she has like way too many orders because she actually does a lot of customizable pieces so i'm not sure if you could get it right now but i'll put her instagram up if you guys are curious but yeah i just love my steamer i think it's like the freaking best i always listen to like a spa music oh my god i can't take myself seriously but i always listen to um like i'll literally go on spotify and type in spa music and just listen to those songs and i just feel all zen so we're gonna open up all of these pores before we do a mask and this steamer usually runs for about like 10 ish minutes it's not like one of those super long 30 minute steamers I could definitely tell you that my teeth do feel cleaner and it's actually starting to do like that whole thing that I was telling you guys about in the exact same spot. So I know it definitely whined it because it whined like all around it. But like right now it's not like very noticeable. I can only notice it because I literally look at my teeth every day. But now we're just going to mask. So this is the Erno Lazio New York Pore Cleansing Clay Mask. And we're just going to, you know, dampen the face just 
a little bit all right and there we go yeah it definitely does not look pink on camera but i promise it's like really pretty baby pink <laughs> I feel like it's just been such a long day so it's obviously a new day and pretty much today we just decided to come into Sacramento and do all of our kind of like grocery shopping like the main stores that we can't really get to meaning Trader Joe's and Costco and then I also wanted to go into the thrift stores and see if there was anything and then also to TJ Maxx well we really just went to Home Goods for like all the candles and stuff but I'm currently waiting in the parking lot for James again because he had to run into Costco because I think he might like get a new computer monitor so I'm gonna sit you guys down here I know this is like worst vlogger ever but I figured I would show you guys right now what I got instead of like waiting till I get home because why not I'm just literally just sitting here so as you can see we have all of this food back here but let me just start by showing you what I got at Trader Joe's first nut butter bar mix so I as you guys know I'm diabetic so I've actually never ever ever looked in the baking section at Trader Joe's I don't even bake ever like I'm just not someone that does treats mainly again because of my diabetes but this girl that I follow posted these and I was like wait those look really interesting and when I was in Trader Joe's I looked at the carbs and it's only 11 and then it has two fibers so technically it's nine so I was like wait that's kind of good like just to have like one little one maybe like with tea or something like that and it's no bake so you just add your choice of nut butter and honey or maple syrup so I'm really excited to see how this tastes so I'll give you guys an update on this because this actually looks really good i mean why did i even say it was baking it says you don't even bake this i don't know why i said that and then i just got this crunch mix again really boring but i kind of like this because it's almost like a salad but it has like a really like crunchy texture almost so if i'm super lazy i will literally throw this and where is this Ooh, i actually did get it and these smart tenders plant-based chicken so i love putting this on like the pan and then mixing it with this sometimes i'll even cook this and and it's just kind of like a nice quick little salad I, I wouldn't even call it a lunch because I feel like that's not a lot of food but just like a nice quick snack if I'm literally starving I got some rice cauliflower because again diabetes don't really eat rice or any of that so I love rice cauliflower my favorite thing to do I feel like it's especially might be better for this time because of corona so it, there's not much places that you can eat in but I'm obsessed with curry panang is that how you say it literally my favorite curry of all time so i love getting that and since it is like sweet it has kind of like a sweet taste to it but i'm obviously not going to do that and rice so i like getting that to go and then coming home and putting it with the rice cauliflower this broccoli slaw same thing so easy to just throw in a pan with that um fake mayonnaise that fake mayonnaise more like garlic aioli that I always show you always do that sometimes I do like the chicken I just like to have a little bit of variety I got this vegan cream cheese I will say right now um definitely doesn't taste like cream cheese at all I freaking love this but I can tell you right now a lot of you guys aren't gonna like this like it doesn't really have a lot of flavor but I like to um like add things to it to actually add that flavor so I feel like this is a good base I got some soy chorizo this is freaking bomb I feel like this is super flavorful like honestly I'm freaking obsessed with this and now these are my top three favorite seasonings um not seasonings like kind of like spices that I literally like run out of in like two weeks so the first thing is this Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. So freaking bomb. I love this when I make a more like fish style dish. So for example, like last night, if I was gonna eat that salmon, this would be really good like over a broccoli or like just the salmon. So freaking good. Like I am obsessed with this. Or obviously you can put this on rice. Everything but the bagel seasoning. I mean, of course, everybody freaking has this. There's literally a man staring at me right now. But yeah, everyone, I feel like that's like one of the number one most popular seasonings to get and then this I literally don't even use my pink salt anymore I just use the garlic salt for everything like I freaking love this I probably go through like 20 of these 
like in a month. Okay, just kidding, that's a lot of sodium, but I really do love this. Because I'm running low on my instant coffee, I got the Trader Joe's kind. Again, I'm lazy, so I like to have that on hand. And then this, maybe I should make this with you guys, but this is the ginger drink mix. So this actually does have a lot of carbs. So this is 14, and like I said, actually I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, I don't like to drink my carbs because I'm not gonna drink a beverage just to take insulin like that's super annoying that's why I like my coffee black usually with like a little bit of almond milk and that goes for like anything alcoholic beverages I like everything to be bitter so I rarely rarely ever do any type of sugar in my drink but I've been really into like golden milk lattes and this freaking bomb I'll show you guys how I make this maybe later tonight and then the last thing that I got is just this sparkling water because it has a lot of minerals that your body doesn't really produce and things like that and I can see James is just walking with his big TV not TV monitor look do we see him I think he's really struggling right now guys I'm gonna have to give you guys my Costco and TJ Maxx haul TJ Maxx I didn't go to TJ Maxx my home haul at the end because not at the end when I get home back as you can hear probably from the slamming of the doors i'm back home and here we have our little overview of what i got at costco so let's start here the frozen section so i just got these beyond burger i had no idea that they sold these at costco like how convenient for all of this it's only like 20 dollars, which i feel like is really good because this is really expensive for just one singular one and then i picked up some bitchin sauce i love this stuff i'm not sure if i've ever tried this flavor though I know I tried one I don't know which one it was but it was literally so freaking spicy but it was honestly amazing again I had no idea if they had this at Costco but I love just literally if I'm not feeling hummus I'll use this with carrots and then some edamame of course I love a good staple these egg white with cauliflower so good because I cannot let go of like my crepes and this has zero carbs so i don't have to take any insulin but this is just really great if again i want to do a crepe whether it's a savory one or a sweet one my childhood my grandpa would always make these it would be like a little crepes and he would always put like sour cream and a bunch of sugar and roll it up and i always had that for breakfast growing up it was so freaking bomb so yeah i thought i would pick this up and then this tuna seriously such a good deal this is like the only canned tuna that i can eat i feel like usually it's nasty like any other one that i've tried just does not compare it to this one and for just one at safeway it's literally five dollars so this has one two three four five six and this was not expensive either i think it might have been like under 17 dollars and of course i picked up some more protein this i actually have never tried in my last video i talked about how this is the one that i drink like i've literally been drinking this since high school i don't drink like protein shakes or a lot of like protein bars but when i need that extra i always grab for this one they had this at costco chocolate peanut butter flavor and it says simple on it so i don't know i've never tried it so we'll have to see how this goes i literally wanted to cry when i saw this this is like my favorite freaking cracker on earth i love put it using these as like croutons because 12 crackers is still like 14 carbs but when you think about it if i am using these as croutons and say i use like six of them on a salad that's like nothing compared to if i use just like regular standard croutons yeah i was really excited when i saw this because i've actually been ordering this off thrive but when i saw this i was like oh i have to pick it up and then this organic honey is again one of my staples from costco i get this every single time it's plain you can add different types of spices to it if you want but also i just love it a lot because it does come in a cup so it's like the perfect serving size so i don't like go overboard with hummus because sometimes i tend to do that and then i also got this riced cauliflower so i have actually never tried this it's in like a little pocket it's obviously not as good as the one i got from trader joe's because i don't think the ingredients are as 
clean it has malic acid so i'm not really sure about that but other than that you know there's just cauliflower and water but again it's much better to just get the one that i got from trader joe's because it's just very standard i got some soy sauce because i completely have none at all anymore and they only had the low sodium one so we just intended to go for that one james got cream cheese because he's literally obsessed and then a crap ton of broccoli again if you are a diabetic the best thing you can eat every day would be broccoli and cauliflower i know this looks like a lot but again if you guys tend to see from what i've been cooking i eat majority vegetables so even though this looks like a lot i will go through this really really quick example this mushroom this may seem like a lot but again as you can see I always am cooking with mushrooms and broccoli and things like that. And then they had this marinara sauce, really, really clean ingredients. As you can see, it's like right on the front. It came with two. It was like two and um, it was $8, but my dad kept the other one. And yeah, it does have... Um, calcium chloride in it so that was like the other like eh. some standard bell peppers again i can dip this into this hummus as well some berries i don't eat much fruit again because i am a diabetic but when i do it is raspberries and blueberries because they're very low with like the whole glycemic scale and things like that and then beets i feel like not a lot of people eat beets unless you're like russian i grew up eating russian food because i was born actually in moldova but i do have zero percent russian in me however i speak it and things like that and beets are just such a staple now as for home goods i didn't get um literally anything except like dog toys and things but like i said i was going there for candles so i finally stocked up on all my fall ones there's just so many different candles at tj maxx and like home goods and marshall's so i know that you can't like smell through the screen but hopefully when you guys go you might seek out the these candles and it'll be like easier to find a scent because after you smell like five candles they all literally start smelling the same so this is the first one that I got so this is pumpkin toffee and I want to put this in my bedroom because guys okay I'm going at this with a like fresh little nose so let's see oh it just I don't know how to explain this scent it smells like really really manly in a way like it has like a musky smell with like a hint of like pumpkin toffee it has hints of leather almost but yeah this just smells really good that's why i want to put it in my bedroom because it kind of has like that masculine smell but also like a little bit of sweet so i feel like it'll be like very sexy for the bedroom and then james got this one for his room i don't even know this just says suede on it so I, I literally have no idea i forgot what this smells like oh yeah this one right here yeah it has literally nothing on it oh no the scent is suede it's makers of wax goods like on the bottom like christmas tree but like leather also and like a little bit of cinnamon this is actually i feel like a really good fall candle for the living room i always try to find a candle that looks literally like this just white so it was really hard to find a scent that actually smelled good because i feel like a lot of the good smelling fall candles unfortunately are all orange like on the outside and I don't want to put an orange candle in my room. I'm sorry. I just don't. I know it's festive and things like that, but it doesn't match anything. So um, I have a harder time of finding a good scent. And this is Cloud Nine White Pumpkin and Vanilla. And this has a more like refreshing scent, but does have hints of vanilla. So I feel like this will be perfect to burn in a place like a living room because it might end up like smelling the whole house. So it's not going to be like too overpowering of a pumpkin smell. And then the last one that I got is Heritage Pumpkin. This one I'm actually going to keep in this room. And this probably out of all of them has the more pumpkin-y smell. And then I did get this. I know this is really boring, but I really 
needed a new pan because I think last night I cooked salmon in one of these and I'm just so over them when I had it was like a cheap Ikea one and it just freaking sucked like it was impossible to clean and this one is hopefully it might be better who knows it might not it is seven dollars that's how much it was but it's more aesthetically pleasing so even if this is just as bad as the other pan at least it's cuter and I feel like it's more durable like the one that I got from Ikea anytime I put it in like the pan it would like warp a little bit I just mixed some of this with the hummus and oh my god first off this is freaking bomb i'm obsessed and i'm just gonna eat it with these carrots as kind of like a little snack but yeah these hummus cups again don't know if i said it are already really good alone but i wanted to add like a little bit of cake because i wanted to try this and i couldn't decide which one i wanted more so i just put them together so i'm currently editing a video and i swear if i stare at a computer screen for any longer i'm gonna actually go insane so i figured what's the perfect time then to show you guys like my golden milk latte because i feel like it's kind of like a treat it's not a treat for normal people it's a treat for me because i have to take insulin and it is night so i feel like it'll just really motivate me to keep editing even though it like doesn't really have caffeine so it's like perfect here we have the ginger drink mix this does have 14 carbs but the ingredients are really clean aka it's literally only ginger powder and that's it i literally put so much like i don't stop this doesn't you're just beating the booty okay what does this sound like never mind same thing beating the booty up like that we're not using as much cinnamon but i feel like just enough and then dump out the ginger packet let's do some scissors And now we just have pretty much a bunch of powders in here right now. I'm gonna use a little bit of honey just to, I don't really feel like it needs to be sweetened, but I don't know, maybe I put too much this time. Now we pour. Okay, so I do a little bit over half of hot water i think with the like originally they have some obviously that's why it's called a golden milk latte it's usually mainly all milk it sucks because i definitely don't have any almond milk at the moment i just have this oatly so i'm gonna pour actually let me show you guys how much water i used so i have about that much and i'm gonna fill the rest up with the oat milk now I feel like I'm ready to edit for the rest of the night. She's full on using the dryer sheet, not the dryer sheet, the dryer ball yeah. as a pillow. Oh no, I disturbed her piece. I disturbed her little piece. Now she's mad at me. Oh no, wait, now she's licking me. She gives me the licks. She gives me little kisses. Sunday good morning I look like a washed out trash bag but yeah today Sunday I'm pretty much just gonna be working on finishing my video and it's cleaning day okay it's cleaning day it's getting our shit together I'm doing all the laundry like all the bed sheets everything that obviously needs to be washed towels and then just pretty much prepping for the new week so i got this frame at the thrift store the same day when I went to Costco and as you can see it does have this painting honestly I kind of like this like I'm not gonna lie this makes me 
want to have a vacation house like Marie Antoinette vacation house vibes obviously what really drew to me was this freaking frame and what happened was if we look up here I have my Kurt Cobain photo and it looks pretty awkward as you can see like it looks very thin but what happened was I actually had um, a full like vintage frame that it was framed in obviously because it's a frame and I spent I think it was like $14 at the thrift store because finding a frame first off that's that big is not hard but they're really expensive so they're more harder to come across at the thrift stores so when i found it i was super excited because it was also glass and not like the acrylic and one night randomly like two weeks ago um it shattered in the middle of the night i don't even know how because as you can see we have it right there it would have fallen on the couch so i don't know how all the glass broke and everything so i framed it with just this plastic frame as you can see that i also found at the thrift store but it was ten dollars ten dollars for this flimsy thing and this is not even glass it's just acrylic and i just hated it it was just bothering me that it was so boring because i no longer had my vintage frame but i found it I like I don't even know how because this is 10 times better than the other one the only thing about this that sucks is that obviously doesn't have glass or anything but I'm hoping that that acrylic thing I could just put on the back this frame was $17 and as you can see I can easily just actually pop this out and lay the Kurt Cobain photo over and just clasp it back on so that's what we are going to do right now and this is the current situation it literally fit perfectly in the frame like i took the acrylic type thing off and it fit like i got so lucky i don't even know how i managed to find this for only 17 dollars because frames like this that are it, let alone like this big run over like a hundred dollars when it comes to like all of this detailing and as you can see i ended up actually taking those two photos down that were there because now that the frame was gold because those pictures had like orange in it it was just kind of clashing so now this is the overview of this wall it's not quite done because as you can see like right here first off you can't even see this photo it's actually a harley davidson one but um as you can see i started painting it and then i was like screw this i'm just gonna buy it so i still have to get a black switch for that and then a black one for that and then i feel like the contrast will all tie in once i do those and then i figured i would just show you guys this overview so i ended up putting the two photos right there actually why is it so dark right now hold on i can never figure out how to work the setting i feel like it just got even worse <laughs> quality but yeah i ended up putting them right here just because i feel like they would fit best obviously i feel like this wall would look so much better if it was white but james insists on it keeping it red and then if i back up even more um the camera is definitely not going to pick it up but that is like a total chandelier moment it's really moody like the crystals go everywhere but as you can see it's just not picking it up it just looks like white lights even though it's actually yellow like it's giving off very vintage vibes so i'm not gonna put anything up there and then i still have to finish painting the molding black and then again doing the switches black and then i feel like it's really gonna tie everything together and i don't know if i want to get a carpet probably not because i, I feel like it's just gonna look way too freaking cluttered because me putting those two up there already made this area look really cluttered and yeah i don't know maybe one day we'll switch out the floors but we'll see i mean i want to one day but who knows how long we will be at this house but yeah this is just our cozy little living room area and i didn't even really show you guys this side but that's not really that important i'll give you guys like a tour if you want one but i guess that's pretty much gonna be it um i literally still haven't brushed my hair since this morning that you guys saw me i don't even think i brushed my teeth to be honest or washed my face i feel disgusting i've just been cleaning all day in that spare room that you guys would have seen in my last vlog just trying to get it all ready so i can finally do floors and paints and things like that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog instead of me doing a daily one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye